Uh, today, I'd like to introduce you to the Nuvelis focal contouring system. So this technology will be launching in late 2019. It is um, made up of a technology we refer to as rotational fractional resection. And we consider this to be a new discipline in surgery that is minimally invasive surgery that gives very rapid results. Um, in fact, on a single treatment, we see results in a matter of days. And all of our patients in our clinical studies have been treated one time, and we've had very good results, and I'll detail those in a moment. <clears throat> the technology is a platform of uh, different attachments that attach to one capital device. So we have one device, everything is controlled by a single handpiece, which is autoclavable. And then we have three different attachments that can be used for either tiny excisions, um, one for very large excisions to remove skin, and then we also have a very small uh, lipectomy cannula, which is about 2.3 millimeters in diameter and four centimeters in length. <clears throat> and the way the multi-scalpet array works, which is their primary technology, is that it has rotating cutting instruments we refer to as scalpets. They're 1.5 millimeter in diameter and rotate at 1400 RPMs. And so they cut through the skin, a full thickness excision of the skin. We create a grid pattern, as you see there. Then we cover that with an elastic adhesive membrane to close the excisions. So you get very rapid healing. The membrane comes off at about four days, and that's about the duration of social downtime. <clears throat> the technology has been studied in a recently completed study that we refer to as the CONFORM study. This was a multi-center study in six centers nationwide of 68 patients, and we focused on the submental area. Each patient received one treatment. They were followed for 180 days, and what I would like to report today is the 90-day data that we submitted to the FDA. <clears throat> you can see very rapid results in correction of laxity and um, lipodystrophy in the submentum. Um, in fact, at seven days, which I think is faster than pretty much any other aesthetic medical device that I've ever seen in uh, treating skin laxity, you can see a, a significant benefit. And patient satisfaction was very high, even though this was a singular treatment. And in fact, out to 180 days, um, we find approximately 80% uh, patient satisfaction. This is on a six-point scale, top three box. <clears throat> we have 94% of the patients that were treated that indicated they would be likely to refer this technology to their friends and family. And of course, in building an aesthetic uh, technology, you want something that's going to have strong referral value because that's how you build a marketplace for it. <clears throat> And our safety profile is uh, quite remarkable. In fact, we had almost no pain with this technology because all the procedures are done with uh, local anesthesia. And uh, we did have erythema, which persisted after treatment. However, in this study, we did not use any kind of topical treatments post, um, post the recovery period to improve the erythema. And you can see in this slide, these are indicative of typical patients that are treated with their technology. I'm not sure I had a point. I'll just, anyway. um, but if you look to the left, you'll see the baseline. Then we have day seven, day 30, day 90, and day 180 um, follow up on this particular patient. And you'll see that the contouring of the subminimum area was addressed very rapidly, and you see very good results even at day seven. Um, you do see a fair amount of erythema at day seven, but by day 30 and day 90, you can see that's mostly resolved. In terms of the regulatory pathway for Nuvelis, we have already submitted a de novo application for this technology, and uh, that was submitted on April the 24th. We've already received from the FDA acceptance of that file, so they're under review, and we expect our indication to be um, actually cleared by the FDA by late 2019. 
Our intellectual property is fairly robust. We have four issued patents for our technology and uh, multiple patents worldwide that are pending. We have a new patent that just got an NOA, and so we expect a new fifth patent to issue probably within the next couple of weeks. And we have completed an FTO. <clears throat> so in terms of the uh, pathway forward, um, as you can see, we expect FDA clearance by the end of 2019. We're working on the manufacturing um, uh, timelines now to streamline the manufacturing and get it ready for the launch. And uh, we're standing by to address any kind of questions from the FDA. So in summary, we expect Recruits Medica to drive approximately $300 million in business. We think this is going to be based on a number of new pipeline indications that we will pursue. Um, we don't include in this XUS um, forecast, and we also don't include a, uh, another pipeline project that we haven't actually uh, started talking about in, in this particular projection. Uh, the Nuvelis uh, technology, we feel, will address uh, the underlying issue of uh, submental contouring that's really needed in this marketplace, and we think that by providing results that people can see in days on a single treatment, you know, that it will offer a unique advantage over other uh, technologies out there for skin laxity. And so we have clinical data on our side. We have a submission to the FDA. We have a maturing uh, technology. We expect this technology to provide significant value to both users, patients, and of course, investors. Thank you. Thank you.